Knockout City is dead. Kind of. Though the Dodgeball Shooter's public servers are indeed shut down, and all conventional means of downloading the game are delisted, there is a workaround available specifically for PC gamers. It is important to note that the private build of Knockout City is only available for PC players, and is not possible to bring to consoles due to both software and legal limitations. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to install and use the player host build of Knockout City. First, open up your web browser and type in kocity.xyz. This will bring you here, a landing website where you can install the XYZ launcher. The launcher is not required to run Knockout City, but it makes the process of switching between servers a metric bajillion times easier. Once you have done that, launch the setup EXE. Your computer may yell at you about the launcher being malware, but that is only because a seal of approval license for programs such as these are quite expensive. The program is perfectly fine, and I swear my channel on that. If everything has worked correctly up to this point, you should be here at the main page of the launcher. When you open the XYZ launcher for the first time, you will need to complete a few simple steps. First, head over to the settings tab on the launcher and log in. You will need to pick a username. I suggest picking something that is well thought out, a name you're comfortable with, as you will not be able to change it once you decide on a name. Once you lock in a username, you will then need to click Log In. The launcher uses Discord as a method of authentication. This is to prevent the standard scum such as bot accounts, malicious players, and the like. If you do not have a Discord account, it's easy and free to create one, so go and quickly do that. Once you click Log In, a tab on your web browser will open, asking for your confirmation. Do that, and a series of numbers will appear. These numbers will need to be entered into the launcher in order to finalize the login process. Your login process is now complete. You will remain logged in even after closing out of the launcher until you manually log out. Now that you have logged in, it is time to install the game. The launcher allows you to install Knockout City directly. When you go to install Knockout City, you are presented with a choice between the high-res and low-res versions of the game. Which version you choose to install will depend on the strength and capabilities of your computer. Currently on screen are the recommended computer specifications for each version. Select which version of the game best fits your computer and click install. The amount of time required to install Knockout City may depend entirely on your internet provider. Despite this, installation should not take very long. This is the method of installation I recommend, as it is the easiest and most straightforward. However, if you have already installed the private build of Knockout City via the official website, you will need to take some extra steps, so you do not inadvertently install the game twice. Just head over to Settings, find Game Directory, and find the Knockout City High Res folder or Knockout City Low Res folder. If you have successfully linked the game files, your launcher should look like this. Below that is your Discord RPC. Discord features certain integrations that allow your friends and server mates to see if you are playing Knockout City, what server you are playing on, and if they can join you. All of these features can be toggled on and off through the launcher. Now that you have logged in and the game is installed, you are ready to play. To play Knockout City, head over to the Server tab, then the Public sub-tab, and select which server you would like to play on. Here is a brief overview of the different servers you can play on as of this video's recording. HostDE Center is the primary server for players in the region of Europe. TCNS, also known as the City Never Sleeps, is the primary server for North American players. DummyCore is an alternate North American server that often serves as a place to test modding capabilities. And finally, ChaosCityDE, an alternate European server. Not shown here, but available previously, is KONA West, a server specifically for those that live on the west coast of North America. Once you decide on a server, you are ready to click launch. It is important to note that while your progress from the live game cannot be saved or transferred, you will have access to nearly all cosmetics that were available, with the exclusion of certain items that were only attainable through the ranked league play and items associated with other properties. Cosmetics relating to partner creators are also unavailable, to prevent association with said creators should they fall from grace or turn malicious. You will, however, gain access to certain cosmetics you may not have been around to nab at the time of their original release, such as the Block Party cosmetics, the Loyalty Royalty cosmetics, as well as items from special events and items from the seasonal Brawl Passes, all of which will be unlocked without requiring any gameplay, though you may unlock items anyway through Street Rank, which will also be reset between servers. You will also need to reconfigure both your Brawler characters as well as your settings, so remember to go through that as well before you queue up for games. You may also notice your new Trust Fund of Holobucks. As exciting as this may appear, you will only be able to spend these Holobucks on energy drinks and the three additional Brawler slots. For now, at least. Perhaps the modding community will find new ways to reintroduce it. 
Other items of note, League Play is disabled, in-game voice chat is also disabled, viewing profiles no longer does anything of value, and the only street play modes currently available are 3v3 and 1v1. This is potentially subject to change as the modding community evolves. And with that, congratulations! You now know how to install and use the XYZ launcher and the private build of Knockout City. The following chapters are instructions for specific scenarios and other frequently asked questions. If for whatever reason you want to launch the game on a local client, untethered to any server, here's what to do. Open your computer files and search for the Knockout City High Res folder or Knockout City Low Res folder. Within that, open the Knockout City server folder and open the respective application. You should see a terminal window like this. Once you do, minimize this tab, go back to the Knockout City folder, and open Knockout City. This will open a local host client of the game, and you are free to play around without being tied to a specific server. The local host server can also be accessed via the launcher. To do this, head to the Host sub-tab under Servers and select Start. Then head to the Favorites sub-tab, make sure you have selected the local host server, and hit Launch. I personally recommend opening Knockout City directly, like how I showed you, as that method tends to be more consistent. If you want to add a server that is not part of the official roster of XYZ servers, you can do that here by going to the Favorites tab, clicking this plus icon, and inputting the required information. If you want to add your own server, I recommend getting in contact with IpMake, the launcher's creator, for more information. Any further questions can also be asked in the Support tab on the XYZ Discord server. With that, I have nothing more of value to add. Thank you for watching, and happy brawling!